All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Game Murphy. Uh, another episode of Terraria by Gamer J. Um, oh gosh. Uh, oh gosh. We just spawned an alien invasion, so I decided to start recording right away. Uh, though I was totally not ready for <laughs> the invasion. Um, hmm. I'm not sure why there was ground there, actually. I must have been from something else. Woo! Uh, so, we uh, we cheat this as much as we can. Uh, that's how I got through it. Um, so, I've been working on Duke Fisher on. And as you can see from the inventory on the screen, I was getting ready to do some experiments. I was working on the arena a bit and uh, decided that, uh, you know, since, uh, since I was out there at the last part of the world and there was a Martian probe there, uh, rather than go hunt them out later on, uh, when I want to spawn them, I'll just do them now. I actually did that earlier. You can see I've got a Xeno Popper, I've got a Rainbow Gun, uh, and I have the uh, Xeno Staff. Uh, these I all got from the first alien and Martian invasion I got while failing at Duke Fisheron. <laughs> um, and uh, there are some key elements uh, that I take to defeating. Um, the, uh, the Martian invasion, uh, you know, these guys, they're, they're in there, they'll, they'll eventually die, I've got, I can make a better arena for this, but this has been my near my base arena, um, for, you know, uh, just general stuff, uh, you know, like blood moons or whatever, if I'm going to stay on the surface, um, early game, you know, before pre-hard mode, this, this is it, this is the only change from pre-hard mode, aside from some additional gravestones <laughs> is the candle, right? Um, and actually, and that's pretty hard mode. Um, so, I mean, you can see I've died here a couple of times from just not paying attention. A wraith can go through the blocks. That's post-hard mode and also deadly sphere uh, from uh, the solar eclipse event when it just happens randomly. Um, uh, it goes through blocks and, uh, you know, if I'm not paying attention, because I can just sit here and not pay attention for a while, um, then uh, then I can get killed here. This is not an AFK farm. Uh, it's close to it. Uh, you know, it has the, the key elements of a you know of a volcano or lava torrent uh, that I use for just about everything. Um, because it's so simple. Uh, the hardest part is getting the lava um, and, uh, and getting the setup just, you know, reasonably right. Um, so this is obviously not optimized. Uh, I haven't done anything to it. Uh, the real key uh, that it's going to take for me here, in fact, let's get that in the right spot. And I can switch... Um, move my dashing gear. Um, I don't really need mobility here, so I'll switch out my aerial bag now, uh, because eventually the flying saucer is going to come, and that's where the cool drops are, is from the flying saucers. I, I think I had four or five of them in the first invasion. It was pretty awesome, because I think I've had these before where there's been like one or two. Um, I don't remember it, you know. Uh, I don't remember how often they come. Do they come every 20%? If so, I'm due. I feel like I'm overdue for one. Um, but uh, the, the big trick for easy uh, fighting um, the, the, the spaceship is to be underground. Um, virtually none of its attacks go through underground. You know, I'll be over here-ish right and I'll use my yo-yo and it will uh, it will keep me pretty safe uh, you know if I'm too close the, the, the spaceship will come over on this end of the screen over here and it'll shoot down into here and it could potentially do damage to me um, 
you know, I just have to be a little bit careful of that and make sure I'm not standing in the, right, in the wrong spot for that. Because uh, I, I was doing it closer to the edge. But uh, I think that it, the, uh, the Eye of Kufuru, which is a Mothron drop from the, uh, um, the Solar Eclipse, it just, it just stays out infinitely. Um, you know, I'll switch to it now here and show you. It. Uh, you know, I can't reach, it doesn't go through blocks. Um, but it can reach around um, these platforms, right? So when I'm over at where I was just showing you, it can go around just fine, and it just it'll just stay out. I don't have to keep on recasting. Even if I did have to recast it, if it was any other yo-yo that doesn't stay out infinitely, um, I'm gonna wait for these guys to get trapped up in here. Actually, I don't care about it. Um, these things take a while to kill. Uh, not these guys, the UFOs, and I want to get that started. So, uh, I've been, maybe, I've been starting with the left hand side, and then just getting the right hand side. I uh, just, you know, uh, I think it just, I chose left because I was getting hit, um, because I was too far over in my little nook. But you see, None of its attacks go through these blocks. You know, it even flew under the blocks there for a second and so you know, it hit me. So I definitely wasn't planning on doing a uh, Martian Division episode. I was, uh, there's a train in the background, no worries. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't planning on doing a, uh, an Invasion episode. <laughs> I was planning <laughs> to uh, to probably fail, honestly, at Duke Fisher on some more. I'll show you uh, when I get to that video all of the, uh, the gravestones. I've got three of them out there. Uh, you know, I was hoping to just be awesome and, uh, and, and get it. Uh, and I was I was working with uh, and now on this phase, I guess I've got to keep the yo-yo back and forth, side to side. Don't really try hitting it in the end. Uh, or in the middle, um, you know, a little bit, but you really just want to get the yo-yo to the right end spot uh, to get it down a bit faster. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I was I was working with uh, the Mega Shark and uh, both uh, Curse and Glorified Bolts. I'm not very good at switching my ammo. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, it, my, my different attempts just didn't go the way I wanted them to. Um, ended up uh, working on the arena at Sparking a Martian Invasion. Uh, and uh, I got the uh, Xeno Popper, and I switched over to the Xeno Popper. I don't know how much that helped or hurt me. Uh, I also feel like I didn't get to, during the fight that I tried that on. Uh, it felt like the arena that I had, so there's another saucer right away, I can't even go and get my loot. Uh, so I'm not going to complain about saucers uh, coming around, but it's, that's, that's really what I want from the invasions. Uh, nothing else really gets the cool drops. I'm not even sure what that is over there. I'm not even sure what I want anymore from the from, the, <laughs> from it. Uh, I know I want the car, I want the vehicle, uh, the mount. That's the that's the big thing that you want from that. What I think most people want from this uh, invasion. Uh, but uh, you know, I did some DPS with some dummies, and you know, it, it more than doubled my DPS with the Xeno Popper. Trouble is, there's some accuracy aspects of it. So doing shooting at the dummies was real easy. Um, you know, uh, shooting at Duke Fisher on not so easy. But I think if I do it right with the chlorophyte bullets, where I don't have to aim so much, uh, which is the purpose of it, I'm good. Um, you know, all of the videos that I've seen that make Duke Fisher on look real easy, they all use the Daedalus Stormbow, which I don't have. And uh, you know, I might end up farming that too, uh, just to you know see how much easier it makes it for me um, but there are, you can I know that you can beat Duke Fisher on with other things 
Oh, is that the, that's the key. That's it right there. Um, not sure what just hit me. Laser drill. I'm going really slow here. I can feel the slowness. spear traps left over, even though I've used uh, several of them, 16 in fact, <laughs> um, in my uh, in my truffle worm farm, uh, and which also is not really 100% optimized, but works really, you know, it definitely works well enough for getting a constant supply. I've got, you know, even after a few bad attempts in my, uh, you know, my five that I grabbed in, uh, out of the inventory, I still got it well over 50. I think, I'm, you know, I think I could have started off with close to 75 when I, when I went after it. Uh, we're about to have some background noise uh, as my family has come home. The dogs are very happy about it. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and cut the, the, the video here. I, you know, there's not much to see. You've seen me do this. Uh, it's just more of the same. Uh, I want to thank you again for watching. I'm Gamer Jay, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Wonderful evening.